Let me give you some, let me give you some variation on the show, okay? Try that. I'm actually bending on the uh, oh, from the, uh, the T-shirt there. Yeah, that's good. Right. Let's try and get this descending part to be real vocal sounding, real natural sounding. Okay. So when we descend the bend. A singer wouldn't usually change the speed of the glissando, of the slide, in the middle. So once the movement begins to happen, I mean, this E note will stay being sung or held out. And once the singer starts moving from E to D, that rate of speed is going to be in a straight line. It's not going to, most of the time, it's not going to start out slow and then get faster to the D and then eventually get to D. What we're really doing is we're implying a move from E to D, but that doesn't never really happens. The move only happens from E to E flat, and we pull off to D to imply mm -hmm. the rest of the glissando. Okay. Well, because we can only do half using it, using this pitch. We can only do half of what a singer would do. What a singer would really do is go in a straight line. But this sounds better. In my opinion in this. Just by the time you get to D, there's no life left. There's, there's no balls at the end of that. Okay. Anyway, so let's try that again. Oops. Okay. So let's try... Do you hear a difference between the way I played it? And yes, played I did. It? What, what was the difference? Um, probably the um, the pick attack came when the note was already bent, right? Or yeah, well, I, my I bent, bent up. You bent up. I bent down. Yeah. I released down. Mm -hmm. uh, listen to Gary Moore. Uh, yeah, he does it all the time. Yeah. All the time, and uh, he, he'll often. Alternate. He'll do a lot of those descending bends, descending bends, descending bends, and then at the end he'll bend up, either on the same pitch or on another pitch. And now that upward uh, bending note is very, very strong. It, it's much more powerful than if he had all up of yeah. that. So Gary Moore, for phrasing, is really, really a great player. <laughs> Thing wasn't bent up. Mm -hmm. It's only an up and a D. a lot is not continuing to search for new notes to play mm -hmm. okay that you know we don't need to add more stuff we need to take the few notes that you are playing and just make them totally kick ass okay, okay? so making through variations is a good way to start practicing it even if you don't like this particular type of playing or phrasing there are other things that you can do the point is to to search always for for more variation like a little theme and variation which you're doing with one note or two notes or three notes and uh, you'll start to discover over time patterns of things that you like. Mm -hmm. You know, what I like to, to do and what you might like to do or hear might be different, but you need to discover what that is. See, right now, I don't think you have any idea because you, 
you just keep going from one note to another note to another yeah. note to another note. There, there's no time to even develop. Your faces aren't developed because there's no time to develop that note. Does that make sense? Totally. And if, if you can play two notes really, really cool, then it gets, it's, it's no big deal to play three notes or four notes or ten notes really, yeah. really cool. You know, but if you struggle to make that one or two notes sound good, adding more notes, that's like putting earrings on a pig. <laughs> I'm not saying you're playing as a pig. I'm, I'm just using the analogy. Pig still it, the it doesn't get prettier as you, as you put earrings on it. <laughs> just prettier. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to talk about right now? Oh, not really. I right. got a lot of things. Cool. Thing. Yeah. Vibrato, priority number one. And phrasing. phrasing, priority number two. Cool. I mean, if you never, if you never got any faster, if you never improved your guitar technique, uh, if you gain no more technical skills, if, you knew, if your ear never developed, if your music theory never developed, if you just did phrasing and vibrato and got that really, really high, people would perceive you as a great guitar player. All right. Yeah. Cool. I mean, how much music theory do you know? Do you think Eric Clapton knows? How, I mean, <laughs> how much? Uh, how, how, how much technique does he have? You know, not much more than you. So, but, you know, he's an icon to many guitar players. He is. So, thank you. Know. you. All right, take care.